So when we looked at uh, quadratics, we looked at the quadratic being a function. We could have a quadratic equation, which we solve for zeros, or we could have quadratics that we factor. So there's this connection between functions, equations, and factoring. Okay? And we really want to connect it to factoring because the factors allow us to solve zeros for the functions. And the factors also allow us to solve for the zeros of the equations. And again, the solution to the equations are going to show up on the x-axis here. So there's this connection between them, and it's connected through the factoring. So we really want factors and roots. So when we have factors, okay, we can solve for the roots when we have factors. So if we have the, the graph in the factored form, we could find the roots from these two factors. So whatever makes these equal to factors equal to zero, so two and negative three, this is where roots are going to show up. So this is can be also done in the reverse. So if I start with the graph and I see the roots, negative three, negative one, positive three, I can go from the roots to the factored form. Okay, so there I can actually factor from the graph. So this is my polynomial. I don't really know what the roots are when I look at it there, but when I look at the graph, I can see the roots, and from the roots, I can generate the factors. Okay, so the factors, it's, it's good to bear in mind that the factors are from our rational factors. Okay, so irrational roots, we can't put into these linear factors like this. So that's something we're going to have to deal with a little bit later on. Okay, so let's take a look at what the different types of factors look like. Okay, and there's these, this issue of what we call multiplicity, okay, or double, triple, even quadruple roots, and they relate to what we call bounce and slide. So visually, this is what they look like. So roots that bounce usually are powers of two, okay, and they, or what we call a multiplicity of two. And roots that slide, okay, and this is what we call a slide here. So the bounce, I'm going to do in red here. So this is our bounce, okay. At negative 3, it's going to bounce like that, okay. And it comes from the multiplicity or power 2 here. The slide is this shape here, okay. It doesn't go straight through the x-axis like that. It slides through the x-axis, kind of flattens out a little bit and keeps on going, okay. That shape comes from multiplicity of three. So when we see these shapes on a graph, generally we're looking at a double root or a triple root. This could be a, a quadruple root, but they tend to look flatter. So we'll look at the visual difference of those in a bit. So when we have this issue of double and triple roots, we can come up with these equations and we, we can see what these graphs look like. So it says that we want the equation of a polynomial with roots at 1, 1, negative 3, and 4. Okay, so when we see the roots like that, we can write the roots down as x minus 1, x minus 1. Well, that means that we have the root in the same spot. So usually these two roots are in two different spots. They end up in the same spot. Then we have a root at negative 3, so x plus 3, and x minus 4. Okay, So this is what we call a multiplicity of 2. So we could write it like that, or we can write it in the squared form. And when we graph this, it's going to look like this. So we have roots at 1, negative 3, and positive 4, somewhere around here. Okay, it's a fourth degree that opens up. Uh, sorry, it's a y in it. We don't know that it opens up actually. It has a y intercept of at 6. Okay, so this is, we have to make sure that we have an a here. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Okay, and for it to go through the y intercept here, and bounce at that point, it's got to go in this direction. Okay, so this is going to give you a negative a value. If I drew this going the other way, 
there's no way I can get it through to go through the Y intercept. Okay, so if I did this, why, well then I have a zero here. So this is a bit of a problem here if I were to try to draw it with a positive leading coefficient. So there is this A value that we always have to consider. Okay, so just because I have the roots doesn't mean I'm complete. It's only halfway there. I always have to consider this A value. So how do I solve for that A value? I know it's negative because it's definitely upside down. Well, I solve that A value by substituting in a coordinate. And this coordinate happens to be the Y coordinate, the, sorry, the Y intercept. So I'm going to plug in X is 0, Y is 6. So I get A times negative 1 squared times 3 times negative 4. When I multiply this all out, I'm going to again end up with negative 12a. Solving for a, I get a equals 1 over 2. Okay, so 6 over negative 12 is, sorry, negative 1 over 2. So this confirms then that I have a y-intercept of 6. Okay, it's upside down, and it looks like this. y equals negative 1 half x minus 1. There's my bounce x plus 3, x minus 4. So there's my equation of my graph. Okay. Now, I do also want to mention one thing about the bounce. Basically, we really have two roots that usually are different that end up in the same spot. So when I have two roots like that, basically those are two distinct roots. But what ends up happening is as those roots get closer together, and they get closer together by dragging this up. As those two roots get closer together and just turn into one, we get this bounce situation. So that's why it shows up as a bounce. Okay, It's because the two different roots are actually being compressed into one spot. And the same thing actually can be said about the three roots. Okay, Here we should have three distinct roots. Each power should give us an in a distinct root. But all three of the roots are being compressed into one spot. So we end up with a situation here where we have three roots like this, but they all get squeezed into one spot. So they end up giving us this kind of shape like that. Okay, so that's why they, we're getting these different shapes, these bounces and these slides. And that they're basically when the, all the roots are being compressed into one spot.